If I wanted to impress little Abby, I would tell him about all the haunted buildings I've worked in over the past decade. I imagine that little Abby would be impressed by other parts of my life as well, but I know with certainty that they would lose their tiny mind over hearing some of my ghost stories. Little Abby was obsessed with the ghosts. At large family gatherings, I would dress up in old lace and tell ghost stories to my cousins. I didn't have a Barbie dream house, I made a Barbie haunted house. When my family went on vacation, I would look up the route we were taking to see if we would pass any famous haunted locations, and then I would pitch them as part of the trip to the rest of my family. I always got outvoted, but maybe someday I'll go on that most haunted spots in the USA trip that Little Abby always dreamed of. I'm not sure why Little Abby was so into ghosts. One reason might have been because my sister hated scary stuff when we were little, and as a younger sibling, I decided it was my job to love everything she hated. One reason might have been that as someone with the constitution of a woman in Victorian literature, you know, the wife who dies from being away from the sea, I vibed with the supernatural stories of that time period. One reason might have been because the house I grew up in was over 100 years old, and in hindsight, likely had ghosts. These all may have been factors, but I think for the most part, I just liked ghosts because I liked ghosts. Do y'all have anything like that? Something you like just because? Current Abby still likes ghosts, by the way. My relationship with them has just changed since working in the aforementioned haunted buildings. To my friends and fellow Bedsies, I'll see y'all tomorrow.